Virtues of the Day of Arafah Fasting on the day of Arafah is an expiation for two years. The ninth day of Tul Hijjah is the day of Arafah, since it is on this day that the pilgrims gather at the mountain plain of Arafah, praying and supplicating to their Lord. It is mustahab, highly recommended, for those who are not pilgrims to fast on this day, since the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was asked about fasting on the day of Arafah, so he said, It expates the sins, minor, of the past year and the coming year. Muslim, number 1162, Allah frees slaves from the fire on Arafat more than any other day. Likewise, the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said there is no day on which Allah frees people from the fire more so than on the day of Arafah. He comes close to those people standing on Arafah, and then he revels before his angels saying, What are these people seeking? Jami Ut Termidhi 3 377 It is the day on which the religion was perfected and Allah's favor was completed. In Al Sahihain it was reported from Umar ibn al Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, that a Jewish man said to him, O Amir al Mu'minin, there is an ayah in your book which you recite. If it had come to us Jews, we would have taken that day as an Eid festival. Umar said, Which ayah? He said, This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Al Ma'idah 5 colon 3 Interpretation of the meaning Umar said, We know on which day and in which place that was revealed to the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. It was when he was standing in Arafah on a Friday. The standing on Arafah is the Hajj. The standing on Arafah is the Hajj. The crowds should remind you of the day of resurrection. Humble yourself to Allah, manifest your Abadiah to Him alone through Dua, sincere intention and strong determination to free yourself from the sins of the past, and to build up a commitment to rush for doing what is good. Think of becoming a better person when you return. Rid yourself of false pride and showing off because it may ruin what you gain on this day. Forgiveness of the sins even if they are like the foam on the sea. As for you staying till the evening in Arafah, then Allah descends to the sky of the Danaya and he boasts about you to the angels, and says, My slaves have come to me, looking rough, from every deep valley hoping for my mercy. So if your sins were equivalent to the amount of sand or the drops of rain or like the foam on the sea I will forgive them. So go forth my slaves, having forgiveness and for what or who you have interceded for. Reported by At-Tabarani in his book, Al-Kabir, and by Al-Bazar. Sheikh al-Albani graded it Hassan. Taken from Sahih al-Targib wa Tarhib. Volume 2, page 9 to 10, hadith number 11-12, Dua of Arafah. The Prophet said, The best supplication is that on the day of Arafah, and the best thing which I and the Prophets before me have said is, There is no God but God alone who has no partner, to him belongs the dominion, to him praise is due, and he is omnipotent. Source. Sunan Al-Tamidi 3585 Grade, Hassan, Fair, according to Al-Albani, so 